On Perfect Match, Netflix brought together its biggest reality stars in hopes of finding their, well, perfect match. But now that season one has come to an end, did that experiment work? Did any of the couples who made it to the finale stay together? Or was it all heartbreak? We've got the update on where each of those five couples is today. Let me know in the comments if this shocks any of you. I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. Let's start with our winners, Georgia from Too Hot to Handle and Dom from The Mole. These two faced criticism throughout the season because some people didn't think their connection was genuine. And while I can't answer to that, I can tell you the two went their separate ways after the show was done. Don told people that the long distance was the biggest factor. I mean, traveling from Australia to Canada regularly isn't exactly a quick trip. But there's still love between the two, and Dom said if they ever run into each other again and still have that connection, they'll see where they go from there. I hope they already went on that vacation they won, because if not, awkward. Next up, we've got Chloe from Too Hot to Handle in the Circle and Shane from Love is Blind. While these two had a rocky journey in the villa, with Chloe briefly reconnecting with her ex Mitchell, they ultimately reconnected and found themselves in the finale. But the romance didn't last. Chloe told people that they were butting heads a lot and that she started to see their previous arguments as a red flag. She told us the pop culture, I don't need a man, but if I want a man, then he can contribute to my life if it's the right one. If it's not, get the fuck out of there. Okay, but what about Izzy from Too Hot to Handle and Bartiz from Love is Blind? Nope, long distance strikes again. She lives in the UK, he's stateside. Besides, I don't think their connection was ever really that red hot. And LC from Love is Blind and Nick from The Circle kind of had the same fate. I mean, these two barely got to know each other in the villa with LC's late entrance, so I wasn't exactly shook by that. I was a little shocked though at Carousel and Joey. The Sexy Beast star and The Circle winner ended up being a really steady couple in the house, and Joey actually proposed during the finale. But Joey told people that after that finale, things didn't work out. While he wouldn't go into details about the end of their relationship, he did say, It's not like it was a lot of drama, but I think that you could see when you watch the show, we're the type of people that when our highs are high, they're extremely high. When our lows are low, they can be very low. Wow, so we're zero for five on finale couples, and I can tell you that none of the other contestants are dating each other either. I think it's safe to say no one found the perfect match, which for me just means we need a season two, like pronto. Let me know if any of these splits shocked you in the comments, like and subscribe, and head over to popculture.com for the latest in entertainment news. Until next time, I'm Anna Rumor, and this is Pop Culture Social Call. <laughs>